Well, it's a question people have been asking since the inception of the Las Vegas Stadium. Where is everyone supposed to park? And it's a really good question when you break it down. Today, the Raiders revealing their parking plan, including four off-site locations. Tonight, we have team coverage of what that means for fans. Sports director Chris Matthews here live in studio with more on the parking issue and getting to the stadium. Uh, but we also go with a closer look at the parking option to Patrick Walker, who's live at Tropicana and Arville at one of the proposed sites. Patrick? Well, Brian and Denise, hey, I'm not complaining. We found a parking spot. In fact, we found a whole bunch of parking spots, at least at this location here at Tropicana and Arvel. This is one of the spots where the Raiders uh, have identified as one of the places they would like to put the cars. Another one is just right across the street. We're talking about the Orleans. That's a familiar spot as well, using the parking facilities there. There are two others that are on Las Vegas Boulevard, south of the 215. One would be at the Boulevard in Blue Diamond, the other just up the road at Arby. That's near Warm Springs. Altogether, the four sites will provide between 9,600 and 12,000 parking spaces. Add in up to 2,700 on-site spaces, and the grand total maxes out at 14,600. That's still some 1,500 spots short of the number that's required by the county. The team and the developer will present this first parking proposal to county commissioners next Wednesday. Chairman Steve Sisolak says, however, some changes will still be needed. There's some issues that we still have. Obviously, the ride share, we need a little bit more definitive what their estimate is in terms of ride share. Right now, it looks like the monorail extension is kind of stalled. I don't know if it's on pause, uh, if that's going to be an option. Uh, I'm very concerned about protecting the parking garages on the east side of uh, I-15, you know, behind uh, Mandalay and Excalibur and uh, Luxor for MGM. I mean, those are their spaces, and we can't count on those. Well, public transit and shuttle services would be provided from the four proposed parking locations. Also, the stadium is being designed to accommodate a large number of ride-sharing vehicles like Uber and Lyft. Now, accommodating the traffic in the area, however, that's also a big topic of conversation. Uh, road improvements are going to be needed. In talking with uh, Commissioner Sisolak, he says the team is not going to cover those expenses. That's something that the taxpayers would cover, but there are plans that are constantly in the work. You look at 5, 10, 15 years down the road that are uh, planned that are constantly being updated, so some of the ones for improvements around the stadium would just be bumped up on the priority list. For now, reporting live, I'm Patrick Walker, 8 News Now. All right, thank you, Patrick, and we're checking in now with Chris. And Chris, the stadium being built in a new ride-sharing era, which we have to assume is changing a few things. Yeah, this, and that's right. This will be the first stadium built in that era, by the way. Mean stadiums won't have those acres and acres of land surrounding them anymore. Those days are pretty much gone. Patrick mentioned the four off-site locations, only 2,400 parking spots on-site. Now, if you compare other stadiums, they have similar issues. The Vegas Stadium will seat 65,000. They have 2,300 on-site spaces. In Atlanta, the new Mercedes-Benz Stadium seats 75,000, yet it only has a little over 2,300 spots. The other brand-new stadium in Minneapolis seats 60. It has 273 on site spots. Those who attend games say, hey, you got to make it work. In Oakland, we have that entire parking lot and we share that parking lot with the Oracle Arena. So we have plenty of parking there. Here, there have been some he's and ha's about the whole tailgate experience, but the one thing about Raiders, they're going to figure this out. The owner of the Raiders said the big things that were important to him were access and egress. We certainly got that with the stadium. The other thing was the tailgate experience. All right, you look at the plans now, and other graph shows patrons will get to those facilities. In Vegas, shuttles from the various locations will transport people. Then the Raiders will also have those four sites that will shuttle people uh, to the games. Six of the eight teams on this graph, you notice, have some sort of light rail system, whether it be heavy or light. I think one thing we do understand from this plan is the famous Raiders tailgating, as it's been in the past, will be different. Maybe the team will reveal more on its tailgating plans at next, uh, next week's meeting. Denise, Brian.